What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the Saturday, September 10th, uh, 2022 date. It is about 12.10 p.m. California time. Latest quake uh, shows a 1.1 earthquake there listed on the globe up into the Alaska region it looks like just showing up there. Looking at the last 24 hours or so of earthquake activity, seen some deeper movement quakes uh, striking into the... Uh, well deep into the Kurilkam Chaka Trench and also some activity over here around the Indonesia area. Uh, again, these rings, when they are raised off the globe, indicating some deep earthquake activity taking place there and uh, definitely happening across portions of the uh, plates out there today. Here's a look at the latest activity on a flat scale model Earth. Showing some movement. Uh, here's one of those deep earthquakes here in the Sea of Osk, just off the coast of Russia. This is uh, way down there into the Kurilkam Chaka regions. Uh, talking about 476 kilometers deep. Pretty deep activity. This region does see some deeper movement quakes, though. Uh, notice the darker color uh, quakes, or the circles, I should say, indicating deeper depths there, below 300 kilometers. And uh, of course, the closer you get back here to the plate boundary, the Pacific Plate, uh, the shallower they will get. That is the subduction zone area. As uh, far as it, uh, the uh, start of the subduction zone here of the Kurilkam Chaka Trench. Again, deeper quakes in the darker circles. And as you get up towards the subduction zone itself, uh, the white circles there. So we do see some deep earthquake activity taking place here over time. And uh, today is definitely one of them. Uh, some further deep movement too down here into the Indonesia area where we've seen a 4.5. That one's striking at uh, 407 kilometers deep in the Banda Sea. This activity striking uh, just a little bit ago. Uh, of course, we had that larger scale movement yesterday with uh, quite a few fives and some sixes there in the uh, Papua New Guinea area. That uh, activity, though, was pretty shallow for the most part. There was about six earthquakes or so listed up here on the map. Uh, looks like things are kind of dying off in this region, but we're looking at a westward pressure here in the area, uh, considering all this movement we're seeing today there in the, in the deeper regions as well below. Uh, Java Trench seeing some activity as well overnight, a 4.7. This one uh, about 52 kilometers here into the Java, Java Trench area. Uh, down here along New Zealand, Kermadec Trench, things are awfully quiet once again here. We get these periods of um, earthquakes, days of deep movement, but then they'll just drop off completely. And that's kind of what's been going on today in the area of the um, New, Zealand, New Zealand area northward. South America region, the majority of this quake activity here from yesterday. We did see one this morning, a 4.5, much deeper though into the uh, Peru Chile Trench underneath Argentina, down there at about 255 kilometers into the Peru Chile Trench. So a little deep activity worldwide taking place. Down here in the South Sandwich Islands, uh, we got one earthquake here in the last 24 hours, a 5.4 at 10 kilometers. Uh, notice this area here, uh, this quake is a little bit south of the movement we've seen last week. Let me pull up the uh, last seven days of 4.5 and above. We did have a pretty good cluster of quakes in the five range uh, further north in that little cluster. But uh, today's activity a little bit further south and uh, equal in terms of some of these earlier, uh, older earthquake activity uh, that we've seen here last week. So things are just still kind of active in this area of the South Sandwich region. And it uh, looks like that's going to continue for a little bit around the uh, Puerto Rico area outside of the... Uh, well, we got 4.1 in the Dominican Republic. San, uh, Puerto Rico, seeing a typical swarm here around the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico and also some activity a little bit closer towards the Puerto Rico Trench uh, into the states. Not a whole lot going on today. A couple scattered earthquakes out the southern plains and portions of Arkansas as well. Uh, Washington has calmed down up here, the state of Washington. Not a whole lot going on through the Pacific Northwest, although I heard a huge fire broke up or bro uh, broke out up here not for sure how just appear out of the blue and of course washington has a lot of dense forested areas I'm not for sure exactly where it's at but uh man looking like a pretty bad fire up there in the state of washington here in california of course we got lots of fires we'll check that out here in a second uh, earthquake activity 
Uh, not a whole lot, folks. There's not a whole lot going on throughout the West Coast today. And a little bit of movement down along the San uh, Jacinto Fault Zone and also the, uh, uh, looks like outside of the Banning area. This is kind of just right around the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. Southward would be the uh, that segment. But uh, a couple small microquakes on there today. Uh, southern California did get some rainfall yesterday. And I think they're going to get uh, a little bit more rainfall as well from the uh, Tropical Storm, Tropical Depression K, which is now kind of uh, turning off the coast here of the Southern California region. Uh, I did see a little bit of video floating around last night of some uh, some water. Uh, you know, I didn't see any massive amounts of flooding um, out there in the desert, but gotta remember, you know, they haven't had rain in a little while. And uh, to put even a decent amount of rainfall on there, it's not, the, the ground's not gonna soak it up um, super quickly. So of course there's gonna be runoffs out there in the desert, that's why these, uh, that's why Arizona and New Mexico, when the monsoon of moisture comes up, they get these uh, flash floods. Just uh, some pretty decent rainfall on some super dry ground. Uh, just really does, you know, even though it's dry, it doesn't have time to uh, soak up the moisture. All right, um, what do we got? Pacific uh, Plate up north. Some activity around the Aleutian Trench today, it looks like. Not a whole lot. Just looks like a typical day out there. I'm sure much cooler temperatures for sure up north. Hawaii has backed down a lot as well. Only about 12 earthquakes reported here on the map over the last 24 hours. Not that big of a deal. Uh, so looking at the overall picture today, some deeper movement is pretty much uh, about the, the main, uh, the, uh, hold on a second here, the main story as far as earthquake activity goes. Uh, up here around Iceland, we did see a little activity as well. A couple fours uh, over the last 24 hours. And, um, but that's about it. Not a whole lot of huge activity taking place here as far as the plate dynamics go. And uh, Yellowstone National Park was starting to starting to have a little earthquake activity last night in a little spitter spatter fashion around the Mary Lake area. But uh, you notice things kind of died off. Uh, just kind of lasted for a well, little bit, a few minutes or so of earthquakes. And then overnight, this morning time frame, just a just a very small amount of microquake activity there at Yellowstone. Uh, so things kind of uh, mellowing out there as well. Uh, let's give a check of the uh, fire map here in California. And uh, still burning. We're still on fire. Uh, they're getting some of these out here along the west, uh, western portion here of California. The Six Rivers Lightning Complex fire is finally getting contained after burning uh, uh, 41,000 acres or so. Uh, looks like uh, all evacuation orders have been lifted. This was reported back on the 5th, so they're getting a good handle on it. Um, you know, hopefully we don't have any major wind events that would fuel that fire uh, or get it going back up again. Uh, got an Ed Edward fire up here. Uh, let's see, where's this at? Not for sure where this is. Okay, Tahima, Lassen. Okay, just west of... Mount Lassen, it looks like. I haven't even heard anything about this fire yet. Uh, it's called a forward fire. 160 acres, 5% contained. Looks like there's some evacuation orders there. Um, luckily, though, looking at this map, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of um, vegetation to burn out here to the, to the uh, east and south. To the west, yes, but hopefully they get uh, that contained. Again, the uh, forward forward fire at 160 acres. The uh, big one down there, the Mosquito Fire. I mean, it's kind of weird how they come up with these names. Uh, burning out there in some heavily, densely populated, or not populated, but uh, uh, dense forested areas. And um, this one's burning at 33,000, just over 33,000 acres, 0% containment. And uh, man, I think we're getting some of that smoke here in the Sacramento Valley today. It's very smoky. We got cooler temperatures. Uh, it's only it's only 90 degrees out. Uh, today's gonna be the first day that it's been under 100. It's only supposed to be about 97 today. So today's gonna be the first day under 100 that we've seen in I don't know how many months. Maybe since, uh, I don't know. It's been a little while. So I'm uh, definitely enjoy these cooler temperatures. 
Yeah, 97 cooler, huh? Woohoo! Can't wait till I'm in an area where I say 97. That's a record high for the summertime. That would be nice. Because I, I don't want to live somewhere where there's going to be 100 degree temperatures for months at a time. I'm done with that. I am completely done. Uh, so, yeah, and some further fires down south. It looks like uh, Hurricane or uh, Tropical Storm K has helped contribute to putting out or getting a handle on some of these fires down south with some of the rainfall they received out there which is uh, definitely welcome no doubt in Southern California they're part of the the drought as well uh, let's see what we got for space weather conditions out here we do have numerous uh, sunspots that are currently facing the earth might be a good day for some uh, uh, QSL skip conditions uh, let's see what we got let's see what we got I'm just gonna glance here real quick if you're into ham radio and whatnot uh, yeah it looks pretty active across the map here some major uh, skip conditions coming in here. DX maps. Worldwide DX. I'm kind of into that stuff. I, get, I jump on uh, some ham radio and CB radios once in a while. But it uh, looks like conditions really favorable there around the uh, ham band 28 MHC. These sunspots do contribute a lot to it. Uh, so sunspots are on the earth side facing us. But uh, none of these are looking all potential for uh, any type of major flaring going on here. Uh, there's numerous sunspots, folks, but there's not a whole lot of uh, potential for any flaring. 55% uh, chance of a C flare. They have elevated this a little bit, looks like, to 5% for an M flare, but uh, not all that uh, likely. No major coronal holes facing us. Entering into a little quiet period, so to speak, here of solar weather conditions. And uh, we'll watch it and see if it changes. I'm sure it will. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. Going to catch up on some schoolwork that I uh, kind of got behind on yesterday. It was just too hot. Too hot. Even though I was inside most of the day, it was just, I don't know. Get You get in one of those moods where you just don't want to do anything but just be lazy. And that's that's okay once in a while. I don't mind being lazy. Uh, let's see here. I'm just looking here on the map, seeing if anything's been left out as far as earthquake activity goes. You know, I just got to keep an eye on this deeper earthquake movement. Uh, that could be a, a sign of some building pressure in certain regions. So we will watch it, folks. And, of course, enjoy your uh, Saturday. I might get outside today since it's not going to be 115. And uh, pull some weeds out. Some dry weeds are dead, but I need to get them out of there. Out of the garden and uh, maybe plant some... Uh, I don't know. It's still a little warm to plant any winter-type... Uh, crops out here so we'll see all right guys take care we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight with the update video have a good one peace out